wobbly go. Oh, that's a big spin out. What a hit by reality. Some valuable points right there. I've been watching robots going at it for the majority of my life and I've always wanted to be a part of it. With one goal in mind, to destroy the 12 time world champion Tombstone. Now yes, I understand that destroying a 12 time world champion robot is kinda difficult and I don't yet have enough patrons to support such a ludicrously expensive task but one day I am very determined and stubborn one day it will happen. Until such time let's take this episode as a stepping stone in building my own battle bot. Hello and welcome to Mellow Labs where we convert a PlayStation 1 into a mini battle bot brought to you by Patreon. The plan First, we take our regular PlayStation 1 and we gut it. We remove everything from the inside. Now, yes, you can do this yourself, or you can take it to your local butcher. He might give you a very weird look, but as long as everything from the inside is removed, we're all good to go. Then, we need to make it move. I'm gonna put some wheels in underneath here. I want this to look as much like a regular PlayStation 1 as possible. I want people to look at it and be like, oh my God, it's such a cute PlayStation 1. It's so retro. And then boom, you're attacked. I'm going to start by opening it up, removing all the electronic components and checking them right in the trash. Retro gaming infusements, leave your rage comments down below, I do not care. Then I'm going to take it apart even further to its individual plastic components and give it a very thorough wash with soap and water. I was worried that the plastic was yellowed when I started but it turns out it was just very dirty so no need for hydrogen peroxide. Let's go! Now that it's all nice and clean, let's jump into Fusion and see how much stuff we can stuff inside of it. I never know how to do transitions, so we're gonna do them like this now. First of all, I'd like to thank Nicholas for doing an absolutely ridiculously detailed model of the PlayStation 1. Seriously, link in the description, give him some love, this is f***ing amazing. Uh, let's get on to how I managed to ruin this model. As you can see, there is not a lot of space left inside here. Uh, I'm gonna have to get very creative with my weapon design because it sure as hell is not fitting in here. Let's start with the tires. I designed them myself. I don't know how well they're gonna work. Probably terrible. I'm gonna print them out of TPU. So um, we'll see how well they do. The tires go around this hub. The hub is designed so that I can screw it onto the motor with a headless screw so that it doesn't fall off in battle, as if it's gonna be in a battle. The motor sits inside this mount I designed for it and it screws in through the front here. And at the bottom of these, I'm gonna have uh, threaded heat inserts so that I can screw this whole thing down in the bottom. I made this so that I can easily exchange the motor in the future. These motors are 300 RPM, but I've had uh, a thousand RPM motors sitting in my uh, online shopping basket for a while. And uh, maybe one day I'll pull the trigger and upgrade them. Let's move on to motor drivers. I know I'm gonna get called out for this. Yes, I realize I could just use one motor driver for all four of these motors, but I've got experience with these motor drivers and they like to run a bit warm. So running four of these off of one of them, I have a feeling it's just gonna be a disaster and it's just gonna melt through. So for a peace of mind, I'm using two of them. Controlling everything, we've got the Raspberry Pi W02 uh, shoved into the side here because after I put the battery in the middle there really isn't a lot of space left uh, so well the wiring for this is going to be just so much fun just so much fun now that we've gone over everything we can start printing to the printing station you can't see where I'm pointing to the printing station soon enough everything was printed I started off by screwing on the motors and then I put in the threaded heat inserts. And yes, I did have to sand them down. I've become very efficient at it. I can now do two at a time. And then it was time to start dremeling. I had to remove any standoffs and dividers that would be in my way. So the wheels can come out the bottom. I had to cut two long slots going from one foot to the other. I drilled holes for each of the motor mounts so that I can put screws in from the bottom. And I also drilled two holes for each of the motor drivers. And then I took a fair bit of time to do all of the wire runs. I basically just didn't want anything getting in the way of the wheels so that cables don't get suddenly ripped out. A few hours later, all the cable management has been sorted. Everything has been connected. So now we can start writing some code so that we can control it with this controller. So um, cue coding montage.
Hey there, hey, sorry to interrupt your uh, epic montage. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to the 630 or so of you that have subscribed to my channel. I d thank you for supporting my weird ass. I'd also like to thank all of my Patreon supporters. They have been a huge help in keeping me afloat. Uh, but I'm not doing well financially and I'm gonna need a job soon. So uh, these episodes are going to be uh, few and far between. So if you'd like to uh, keep my content going, uh, d d that, that would be the way to do it. Or you can buy me a coffee, there's links down below. Uh, or you can just subscribe, that helps too. Um, yeah, please support me or I'll have to have a job. And I don't want a job. Please, God, don't make me go back to a job. Uh, anywho, uh, back to the uh, epic montage. Ta-da! It's finished. Look at it. It's so cool. It, it, it do spin. It do spin other way. It does turning. Just turning other way and it does backwards and forwards. Oh, how cool is that? Now, yes, I know what you're thinking. How can it be a battle bot when it doesn't have a weapon? And I wanted to put a weapon in it. I really wanted to do something with the, with the flap, with it like num, num, num. But, uh, but, but there's not enough space to actually like put a servo in here to like make this go up and down. So I'm gonna cheat a little. I'm gonna make some weapons for it in the next episode. But for this episode, I printed out some uh, some memory cartridges with spikes on them. And they are 3D printed, but they are surprisingly sharp. Let's test them out, shall we? I've got some cartons here that it can stab through. It's stabbed. There's a stab mark. We did it. There's two stab marks. See, it's a very effective weapon. Honestly, if that went into your uncle, you would be crying. Yeah, you show that body who was. The TPU wheels are like surprisingly good. I wish they were like a little bit softer for a bit more grip on like uh, hard surfaces. But apart from that, it's really good. I mean, that's gotta be like, worth like at least two points for aggression from the judges, right? So with all that, thank you very much for watching. Uh, join me in the next episode where I actually give it proper weapons. And in the meanwhile, if you want uh, in-progress updates, uh, you can support me on Patreon. Uh, I also do uh, live hangouts, director's cuts of my videos, and uh, early access to uh, videos that you've never seen yet. But I am so excited to show you them all. Uh, so yeah, see you on there. Uh, Till next time, goodbye.